So, are we doing the MP7 today? Are we doing the MP7? Are we doing the MP7? I know. So, today we are doing the MP7, and I would like. Okay, yeah, so today we're doing the MP7. No, and and it's gonna be a really good video. Oh, be careful where you're swinging that thing. Oh, were well, you gonna say bye bye? What's going on guys, Mr. Man 450 and today we are doing the MP7. He hasn't quite got that name down, but eventually he'll figure it out. P98 was a little bit close. Uh, anyways, so, let's jump right into this, the MP7. I use a combat knife with it, just like uh, my P90 class to help rushing. Um, I was playing this game play in Rust, so I didn't really pull it out too much because there's a lot of constant combat going on. Uh, and then we got EOD, vector from explosion, <laughs> explosions. Ghost, can't get seen by UAV, and Amped to switch weapons faster because I'll get caught with my knife out, and that's just depressing. So, then the Semtex, I always run a Semtex with uh, my SMGs and a stem. So, let's jump right into the attachments here. We got our monolithic suppressor, and that's going to help the range along with the FSS recon barrel. The, uh, I believe, yeah, it's the longest barrel. So, uh, the ADS goes down just a little bit, but uh, it kills the recoil a little bit too. And uh, really, there's no recoil on this gun, so, but this will just help maybe kill people a bullet quicker at range. Um, you'll see in this gameplay that this thing literally has no recoil. This gun is the best SMG in my opinion, right above the MP5, and it will slay with this setup. So the suppressor, um, I think it just helps smooth the gun out a little bit. Uh, damage range, sound suppression, uh, the no stock, movement speed, aim down sight speed. Um, really, to be honest, you could probably switch that out with just the stock, regular, or the regular stock, because this gun really is gonna ADS super quick no matter what you do to it. Um, got 60 round mags and um, think that's definitely a must um, I I would possibly swap out the no stock with uh, sleight of hand because in this gameplay I got caught a lot of times reloading uh, especially on rust but if you're playing a little bigger map you probably don't need that I think the no stock 60 round mags is good and then uh, the commando foregrip to help with the recoil a little bit I run that on just about every single class I have so without further ado let's hop into this you guys if you haven't subscribed hit that button like this and uh, see you later Oh, this thing's a laser. I truly missed this class while working on Damascus camo. The no stock really doesn't change anything. As far as recoil, this no stock just doesn't change a thing. There's still like no recoil. Definitely could use sleight of hand. Not sure if I could. Oh, there's a sentry gun over there. Not sure if I should remove the extended clip, but having that that more ammo is always nice. It's just sleight of hand helps so much if you rush. Damn, sniper. <laughs> oh, God. That... No recoil helps so much. It's like I'm cheating, but I'm not. This gun with cabin fever is A1. Just the smaller base maps makes this gun so easy to use. I feel like I go through these uh, rounds pretty quick, so maybe the 60 rounds is definitely worth hanging on to. You could almost get rid of the um, no stock and just put the regular stock on, because I know the 
the uh, ADS times are about roughly the same. I mean, this doesn't make it too much slower. A lot of the SMGs ADS pretty good. Pretty quick as it is. How does that hurt me? I was behind the box. I can't see anything. The whole fucking screen's shaking. Oh, if that guy wasn't there, that could have been a fucking quad. Damn it, I was one off the fucking finisher right there. 78 kills, and most of those were gun kills because I only got one VTOL other than the one at the end, so. That was still a pretty damn good game. 78 and 36, not bad. The MP7 is definitely a good ass gun if you can use it.